Well, the Holy Spirit went and breathed. It's told me. Make sure we're free the nuns signed back there. Because, boy, we need to be free in the nuns. Praise Jesus. One of these days we'll talk about why I've got that sign up there. I might have said it somewhere down the line. I know that I went on some rants um, in the beginning of, of doing YouTube videos about free the nuns. Because, well, they do need to be free. Lord Jesus, just bless them in the name of Yahushua Jesus. But do. So, the last video um, we discussed uh, the crystal and, and my feelings on it now and what, what uh, has happened. Now look. Um, I have prayed much, much, much prayer. Oh, Lord Jesus, please forgive me for not listening to you. It's very important for us to pray and ask for forgiveness for the sins that we've done, for knowing if we've disobeyed knowingly or disobeyed not knowingly. We should pray. It's so important for us to pray for the Father, our Father, our Holy Creator, to remove this shame from us because shame brings unforgiveness shame brings regret shame brings anger and discord shame brings confusion you're not to have shame we John 15 16 ye have not chosen me but I have chosen ye, you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that fruit should remain, that whatsoever thing ye ask of the Father. Let's go to John 15, 16, make sure I got this written down right. Make sure, because it don't seem like I wrote all that Bible verse down. 15, 16. Ask the Father in my name, he may give it you. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't write the rest of it down, but we're going to finish that right in, in just a moment. So, let's see. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye should ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you, that ye love one another. If you got shame for something that you've done... Or if you've grieved a brother that's grieved you and you've got shame over this, it's going to bring discord. You are not, <clears throat> you're not believing that you have been chosen, that you're forgiven. He did not come. You didn't choose him. He chose you. He chose you. He says it more than once in here. I, the Lord God Almighty, am the one that chose you. The Lord chose you. And and it's very important for us to remember and believe that. I believe that why the because the walk is so thin, so narrow, it's because no one um, they hope they can get into heaven. They've got all this shame. They've got all this shame and unforgiveness toward self, unforgiveness toward others, but not believing that they're forgiven for the sins that they have done. We have got to believe as Jesus, Yahushua believers, that your sins are forgiven if you have asked. Whatever you ask in my Father's name, it shall be given you. That He's also talking about if you ask him, please forgive me for this sin or that sin or sins I don't even know I've done. we got to believe it. Whatever you ask in Yahushua Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, it's giving you. Well, hoping that you're going to get into it. What do you mean hope? you got to believe and know. Yes, hope is very important. We are to have hope. But we are to have knowing along with believing. Along with believing and knowing. And, and, and to, to understand. And see, understanding is so very important. A man can, a person can have knowledge, so much knowledge and so much wisdom. But if they don't have understanding, they have nothing. They're just as a fool. But as this proverb says, I'm not sure exactly where, but the proverb says it probably repeats it somewhere. <laughs> because it is true. Understanding is very important. 
your father, Yahusha, Yahuwah, the Lord God Almighty, he has understanding. He has understanding that we live in this sinful world, this sinful nature. He knows how you grew up. He knows what you've been taught through your lifetime. He knows the sins that your fathers have moved on to you. That's why it's so important for us to pray, ask for this forgiveness, and believe it in Yahusha, Jesus, in Jesus' name. Well, let's just go to Revelation 17, 14. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is Yahuwah, God of, or Lord of lords, and King of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. He has chosen you. He called you. He chose you. And you are faithful. You are faithful in knowing and believing that you have a long-suffering Father, a Father that loves you so very much. If you want it, He will bless you with it. And not earthly things, not worldly things. I'm talking about spiritual things, things that are good for your soul, the, the goodness for your soul. We're here on this earth to, to, to worship the Lord Jesus, Yahu Yahusha. And to talk to the next person about it. And the next person about it. Keep Yahushua Jesus alive on this earth. That is what our goal. That is what the goal of a Jesus Yahushua believer should be. Is that whatever soul is in front of you at this moment in time. Find a way. Find a way to allow the Holy Spirit when in breath to use you as a vessel. To talk to this person in front of you. Let him be your guide or your tongue. John 6, 70. Yahushua answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? Do you remember that, that Judas Iscariot was chosen with the rest of them? He was chosen to walk with Jesus. Walk with Jesus, learn Yahushua Jesus' way. He was chosen. He knew. Jesus is even saying it right here in the Word. I chose all of you. Plus, Plus Judas, even Judas Iscariot, who he knew was a devil. Knew it. Knew it. And you know, it's interesting that Jesus was washing their feet. Ain't that something? See, it's going the wrong way. Jesus, Yahushua, was washing their feet before he brings up one of you is a devil. One of you is a devil. Now, I think that's interesting all on its own. 6.13 Because there's something with the feet and, and the the the, uh, the wickedness the unclean spirits coming up through them. There's something there's something with that. I'm, I'm t it's there. Just don't know where, but the Holy Spirit when in breath will bless us one day to see. It just ain't time. It ain't time to see it yet. But Judas Iscariot is, is the devil entered into him before, or says Satan entered into him. He calls him a devil. Says, even all, I chose all of you. Even the one that he knows is the devil. He chose him too. And Satan didn't enter into Judas until after everybody's feet had been washed and they were sitting down to eat dinner. That's when Satan entered into Judas. Been thinking, I wonder if Judas even had his feet washed. Probably so. Because Jesus says, you don't have to wash the rest of your body. I can't see, I don't, I don't know where it's at. But he says, you don't have to wash the rest of your body. It's already clean. If your feet are clean. Shod your feet with preparation of the gospel of peace as well. Your feet carry a walk, the word of Yahuwah, the Lord God Almighty. They walk. They walk it. They walk it to each person. Your feet. But he has chosen you. He chose even Judas Iscariot. We do not understand the ways of the Lord Yahushua. God Almighty, we don't. But he even says in Revelation, I thought that was the one that we were going to be reading, 
but he even says that that I have put it in their heart to fulfill my will. I have put it in their heart. I think it's 17, Revelation chapter 17. I put it in their heart to fulfill my will, to give their kingdom to the beast. He's the one that puts it in their heart to do these things. 17, 17, For Yahuwah God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast, until the words of Yahuwah God shall be fulfilled. I have put it in their heart. I, the Lord, do all these things. We don't get it. We do not understand. Judas Iscariot was chosen to be one of the twelve disciples. And all of a sudden, he is one that, that there was a devil in the beginning. <coughs> Automatically. That's, that's, uh, we don't know. Where else did I see where it was talking as though, uh, you know, don't say your brother's going to do this or that. Because we don't know. We can't choose our brother's path. We don't know our brother's path. Right now, they can be in complete darkness. And, and Nick, tomorrow, Jesus, Yahuwah, should wake them up. He chooses them. The only thing we can do is pray. That's, all, that's the only thing we can do. But we're against people that are murderers. And, and even David, you know, was a murderer. He killed his best man on the front line. I mean, killed him on the front line, got him killed. Back in the day, you know, it, it was different. It, it, people, there was a woman. What? What? She put the put a put a stake through the temple of of a king. In Judges, um, Judges chapter five. So, dude, uh, she killed. That that was murder. We just don't. We don't understand. We murder more with our tongue than we do anything else. That tongue murders so many people, so many things. What was it? Uh, um, I was reading about a man with understanding um, is quiet. Even a fool, when he is quiet during trouble or so, something along those lines, even a fool when he is quiet during trouble, um, has understanding. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Understanding is very important. No matter what we do, we should try to have understanding. Understanding of why. There, yeah, there it is. Um, Proverbs 17, 27, and 28. He that hath knowledge spareth his words, and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. 28. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise, and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. Psalms 49.20. Man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beast that perish. Understanding. The elites, the riches, the, the Sanhedrin, the, the, the Kabbalists, Freemasons, Understanding is something that they don't have. Understand? They might have honor, but they don't have understanding. It is one of the seven spirits of the Holy Spirit, and I think it's one of the seven spirits that can't be touched unless you have prayed for it and, and brought upon it. Because they do, it does say, um, I think it's uh, talking about the steps of the anointed, that even the enemy um, has defiled the steps of the anointed, the footsteps of the anointed. The enemies came in. What was that? It was Psalms 89 51. Wherewith, wherewith thine enemies have reproached, O Yahuwah, God, wherewith they have reproached the footsteps, and that actually means heel, look it up, of thine anointed. They have reproached the heel, the footsteps, the, the walk. There's a foot, the foot again, the feet. They have reproached it of thine anointed. You know, how long? And this is this in Psalms 89. This is, a, he's praying, you know, how long is this going to happen? How long, Lord, please come and stop this, you know. 
Let your children be overcome this, please. We have already overcame. We have got to believe that. When Jesus, you who should die on the cross, we already overcame. We have got to believe that, that we are forgiven. But pray for the unforget for the humble yourself. You know, don't be high minded and high and mighty and think that that, that that oh this sin doesn't matter that I did that. Nobody knows about it. Your father knows your heart. He knows what you got going on. He's the knower of all hearts. Knower of all. This is imp this is is one of the the biggest things I think that keeps that will keep ones out of out of heaven. I do. Is because everywhere you turn, people are so ashamed of what they have done in the past. They are so sad because of what they have done. And if they have prayed and truly believe that they are forgiven, that shame should be no more. What is it in um, Hebrews? He says, uh, uh, Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he allows. You've already went through the, the condemning, the, the judgment. You've already experienced it, the grief over it. Just ask for the forgiveness and believe. Believe you've been forgiven. If not, you're going to shame or regret, anger, and here comes pride, and boy, just, it just going to flow out through that tongue. That's why so many people are so angry with themselves. They speak so against themselves, calling themselves names. So angry with one another. So angry with their own selves. Your father doesn't want you sitting there calling yourselves fat or stupid or dumb. He doesn't want you calling yourselves names. He wants you talking to him, praying to him, praying, talking to your soul. Talk to your soul like David did. David spoke to his soul. That's why I love the book of Psalms because it teaches us how to pray. We as man on this earth, man and woman, we have been so defiled and taught so much defilement through these these cell phones and these televisions and these radios that we don't we don't even know how to worship any longer. We don't know how to come together as a community. We don't know how to love. We don't know how to joke right. We have no true laughter. It's just it, it is abs it's 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 hurtful and it's sad and it's because not their people are not forgiving themselves they're not believing that Jesus has forgiven them for the sins that they've done we got to believe we got to pray and we got to believe belief is so important it's so powerful pray that Jesus will bless you to believe we can do that i promise the word tells you that's in the word it's there it's there. So many, so many things that, that that I thought in my lifetime, all those foster homes that I went to, all those churches, I didn't think that I could pray to my father the way that I have learned how to pray to the Lord Jesus, Yahushua. I did not know I could pray these things. Wow, Lord, why are these things happening? You can pray that. Habakkuk did. David, David did. Mm, praise you, Husha Jesus. Well, I want to praise Jesus. I thank you so much for listening. I thank you so much still for your comments. I do. I read every one of them. I just, oh, being on that phone and with the thumb and constant, I, you know, you know how it is. But I do love y'all. And I listen to your comments. And if you send me things to research or look into. I do. I look into it. Some One of my um, subscribers told me to look into the book of Thomas. And I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm so grateful. You know. For subscribers that lead me. Um, the Holy Spirit when and breath through them. Leads me down different paths. Because of. Uh, Thomas Farrell, uh, his Revelation series, I would suggest every single person to listen to Apocrypha 1970 or 60, I don't remember, it, it's Apocrypha something, but he's got all the different books in, in his Revelation series, I've got it on a, a podcast and, and I, I listen to it while I'm working, it's excellent, it's, it's, it's a different way 
uh, a different, yes, interpretation uh, of, of uh, the book of Revelation and not one of these religious conformed, um, you know, sent off from a main headquarters, the, the, the textbook study of it. It's a true, um, real life study of the book of Revelation. So, y'all have a blessed day in the name of Yahushua, and I thank you so much for listening.